In this video, I'm going to show you how to use message box within your Dynamics 365 case form. Now, remember, this is applicable for any model driven application. I'm, I've opened customer service hub application I'm, and under cases, I've opened one case record. Now here, so if this is your form and if you want to edit this form, what you need to do is like you need to first go into the back end, go to the make.power app powerapps.com tables cases data experience forms and once you do that you will be presented this interface now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to add a tab uh, basically a one column tab okay maybe here and i'll just call this one column tab as uh, you select this and i'll call it as kirish okay. now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a field uh, let's add say subject and let me add this uh, field as subject okay. now you can pick up uh, any uh, any other column which you want okay now let me remove it i think it's duplicated so let me remove this so the goal is basically like if someone selects this subject and if they tab out of it then a message box should be rendered so uh, what we can do is like in visual studio we can open uh, visual studio code and we can start drafting uh, those uh, javascript okay now just to sh uh, quickly type in the javascript what i'm going to do is like i'm going to just type the message so function message box again okay, message box management and then here we will take the execution context and this is my function okay now here we need to take the form context so where form context is execution context dot get form context so this is like uh, like the stock standard uh, context definition and here we will say where field name field name equal to form context whatever you have written as a form context dot get attribute get attribute and here we don't know what's the attribute name so we will just make it xxx for time being and then we will say the get value of this now let's define the message box so message box what does message box contains message box contains basically some thing so message box has confirm button uh, in it so for me i'll just put confirm button label and i'll call it as garish label okay you can pick name whatever you want okay garish label okay and confirm button label here we arrange it properly confirm button label and now it's not equal to basically it's a json so colon okay. and now here i can put the text to what i want in the message box this is message box text goes here and comma title title of the message box let's put hello world for random okay and this is how my json is formed for the message box now we can uh, again do a lot of message box options uh, if you want to display the size of the message box so in my case i want to show a big message box so i'll say where the message box options equal to uh, and then i'll say height height is maybe 300 a big message box comma and width is uh, 400 okay and this is what my message box parameters are okay now all good with this uh again we need to actually call the message box so i'm for me i'm just going to xrm dot xrm dot sorry dot navigation dot open alert Log, and then I need to pass these two message parameters so message box and message box options I'm passing these two parameters uh, and then I'll say um, the promise then and function okay now I'm not going to define the success parameters for this uh, particular function uh, I'm just gonna keep it blank but then you can put your implementation over there okay and then same goes with a uh, function of 
error as well. Okay, if, if you encounter an error, then you can implement whatever you want as a part of uh, console.log. Okay, so just put console.log and maybe some error. Okay, error goes here. Okay, so this is how you basically define and you close this xrm.navigation.openLR dialog box. So all good. This is a well-formed uh, JavaScript. Now, remember, this is important message box management. Plus, we will come to this. Now, the control name for the subject, OK? Now, the control name for the subject is if you click on edit table column, then you should know the, you will come to know the backend name. So that is subject ID. Copy this for time being. Uh, and then go to your code and put it over here as a subject, OK? Subject ID dot get value. So our JavaScript code is ready. Message box management is the JavaScript name uh, so of the function. So what we're going to do, we're going to select this control, go to events, event handler, and event handler, as I told you, uh, we need to find the message name. The message name is oops, subject ID message name is message box management. So I'm just going to copy this message box management. Pass execution context is the first parameter, and we don't have a library attached to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on add library, and then uh, we do not have the JavaScript library uploaded. So I'll go back and I'll try to get the JS path. Okay. So this is uh, msg.js. So I just need to find the path where it is stored. So go back to two sort and So I've selected that message.js path, and then I can name whatever is the message name. So maybe message Kirish is the display name, and I'll just save and publish. You can put some real life name. Uh, I'll just put message Kirish. Message Kirish is the display name, and that's important to know. Uh, and then you can reference that particular JS file once this web resource gets uploaded. And you can type in message and you get this message Girish, which we recently uploaded. Click on add. Okay. And click on done and save and publish. Now it might take a while for the code to publish. So I think the information is published now. So let's go back to our form, refresh it. Now remember the tab name which we have created is, uh, we have created a new tab in the case for interactive experience form. Let me refresh it again.
Now here, if you see, we have added this Giresh tab. So I'll click on Giresh and then uh, in the new section, you have the subject control. And if you select something from here, okay, and then query out, then you will see this message box which gets populated. So if you uh, see the code one by one here, the I'm just opening you the, I'm just showing you the code over here. Now, if you see the message box, what we have written, confirm button label is Girish label. So that's is this text message box, text goes here, which is the text of uh, the message box and title is hello world. So that's it folks. This is basically how you generate a message box uh, using JavaScript uh, within Dynamics 365 customer service, hub application form. Thanks for watching.